I was there that day and I saw her cry after Mama Teddy Bear said 10-4 and goodbye. She turned off the old CB and just looked at me and her heart overflowed and her tears ran free. And the gratitude shone in her face like the sun for all the things those big tough truckers had done. A handful of change and a few dollar bills but most of all a little crippled boy's dream fulfilled. I guess I was Mama Teddy Bear's best friend. I lived next door to her and little Teddy Bear since I don't know when. And that's why now, before my memory grows old, the rest of this story just has to be told. I'd come over and sit with Teddy Bear while his mama was away and play little games to help him pass the day. In the afternoon, she'd wheel that chair over by the radio and he'd go on the air. And one by one, he'd break them all. I never knew a trucker not to answer his call. He'd just grin and ask me not to tell his mum, but I was pretty sure she knew what was going on. But time has a way of taking its toll and much too fast, Mama Teddy Bear was growing old. I watched as the silver touched her hair and her one aim in life was Teddy Bear. And then I saw another change take place. Little Teddy Bear was slowly losing the race. I knew it and his mama knew it too. And there was nothing in this whole world either one of us could do. He talked less often on the old CB times when he'd hardly talk with me. He took to sitting in the window and watching the road and the big 18 wheelers rolling by with their load. Finally he was too weak to get out of bed and one day he looked at me and said, would you turn on the radio and go on the air and tell all my trucker friends what's happened to Teddy Bear? thing I've done in my time was to pick up that mic and say, break one nine. This is for all you truckers who care. I'm calling for your little friend, Teddy Bear. He says to tell you he misses you all and he's awful sorry he can't answer your calls. They all came back and joked with me and said they'd catch him later on the old CB. They never did catch Teddy Bear again, cause late one night the angel came. And the last thing he said before he died was, tell all my trucker friends how I enjoyed the rides. Mama Teddy Bear couldn't tell him and neither could I. Cause each time we'd look at that radio, we'd both start to cry. The funeral was preached at the chapel and little teddy bear started on his last ride. As the procession rounded the little city square, the sounds of a hundred engines filled the air. The truckers had dropped their trailers back somewhere behind, and one by one, they fell in line. They all tried to comfort Mama Teddy Bear, and it seemed like the warmth of God just filled the air. Slowly they formed a circle round the little grave and a lot of big men cried that day as they paid their last respects on Teddy Bear's last ride.